Hello friends and welcome back to the dark side of the force. This whole video is just going to be a bunch of, of my favorite purchases that I've gotten off of Amazon. Some of them are prime eligible, some of them were not. I have clothing, random household items, jewelry, um, and also furniture that I've recently purchased that I'm just going to show you an array of things that I love and some I cannot live without. So we're going to go downstairs. I'm going to show you a few things in my living room that I've recently purchased furniture wise and home decor wise. And then I'm going to take you with me in my vehicle and I'm going to run and get um, some coffee that I ordered for pickup. And then I'm going to run some errands in the grocery store and grab a few things that I need. And then we'll head back over here and I'll show you a few more things. So let's go okay so we're gonna start in the living room this is my newest favorite purchase <laughs> bebo you want the internet honey you want to be on youtube oh my baby my old man you so sleepy he's just lounging so this couch i found on amazon i thought it suited this smaller um formal living room we have very well it's just a longer couch with four allotted seats, but you could definitely fit more people on it. It's very long. It's with taxes, I think it came to $500. It's not the squishiest and most comfortable couch ever. It is kind of firm, but I actually really enjoy it. And this isn't the living room that we spend a majority of our time in. This is like our formal living room. We do definitely love to lounge here. It's not our go-to living room. So comfort in the couch isn't... <laughs> All that great but we do have tv in here we do play games and watch things sometimes um so it's it's definitely nice to have this and uh, this is bebo he is my old man he's gonna be 10 next month and he is a boxer pit bull mix and he is just the sweetest little dude you could ever meet you doing bebo are you so sleepy honey yeah he's just a sleepy guy right now i also purchased these pillow covers so these were just some random old um throw pillows that i had that were getting kind of boring and wasn't really matching with the the theme i got going on in this living room so i purchased the orange ones and the aqua blue ones it comes with two each and i think it was two for 12 so two for 12 for the orange and then um two for 12 for the aqua and i just covered up some old throw pillows and added them to this couch because it matches my overall decor and beachy theme in my in my living room so now walking over here this is also a favored um, amazon purchase this canvas is not actually slats of wood though it actually really does look like it especially from a little bit of a distance um, but it is just a canvas print of a rustic looking ocean scene which i love i think this was 30 if i remember right but I super love this. Found this on Amazon. Pretty sure it's still on there. Over here, I have these curtain lights. Can't see them as good right now because it's daylight, but at nighttime, they shine really pretty and very vibrant bright. They're like a light white color, so they do give off the little yellow um, hue. They're not the LED white lights, but they are the white light, and they are very pretty, very shiny. They're super easy to put up I kind of just attached them to my curtain poles along with my orange sheer curtains and like I said they go all the way down to the floor I could probably shorten them somehow if I needed to but I just kind of left them I do have to pick them up when my robot vacuum comes around though he'll suck them up and pull them right down <laughs> over here these curtains that I currently have hanging are my doors to my deck sky blue and then I have I incorporated the aqua blue on the ends these were also two for 12. No, just kidding. They're actually cheaper than that. They were 12 total. They were $6 for the two aquas and $6 for the two sky blues. So they come in a pack of two panels for $6. Very inexpensive, but they are beautiful curtains. I also got these orange ones a few years ago from a different seller, but they're identical curtains. Um, so I purchased all these orange ones that are also sheer for the same price, $6 for two panels which I love. I like letting in a lot of light, so I don't like, you know, those darkening curtains that, that uh, block out all the light down here in the living room because we like to have all that natural light coming in. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, kitty. This is my farm table that I've had forever. I just recently refurbished it and painted it brown. It is from Pier 1, um, but I needed chairs to go with it. So I found these metal weathered and rustic looking light blue chairs on Amazon. They're super sturdy. They were super easy to put together and they're super heavy duty metal. They're actually pretty comfortable and I like the way they look. I think they're called like calf, metal cafe style chairs is what they're listed as on there, but they definitely give me the rustic country cafe vibe, which I really like. That's what I was going for. They sell them in packs of four. You cannot buy um, one at a time, but it wasn't the, the biggest deal ever because they were kind of inexpensive. I needed six of them. Like I said, they came in a pack of four. So I ended up buying two sets of four. So I have eight chairs. I only use six here. The other two I'll incorporate somewhere else. I don't even know where else yet, but it was four chairs for $109. So I bought two sets. So, you know, it came to a little over $200, which was not bad at all for eight chairs. They do come in a bunch of other different colors. They do have ones that are bright orange, bright blue, bright yellow, bright red, black, silver, and they do have all white. They come in all kinds of different colors. And again, for four of them, they are $109. So there is that. <laughs> Hi, ladies. <laughs> um, this carpet is a recent purchase as well. If I remember right, this was $170. It is five feet by eight feet. It is a colorful Aztec pattern. The brand, which you'll see on the screen, is called Loom. I think it's N-U-L-O-O-M. <laughs> I could be wrong. But I love this carpet. It's very colorful, as you can tell by looking at the minimal parts of my house you've seen. I thoroughly enjoy color. Um, hi, kitty. So yes, this is my Aztec carpet that I really love. I bought another one the same size. It's going to go underneath that table over there um, when it comes in. Right now it's a, a big arts and crafts area because my husband is drawing and painting a surfboard over there. So we haven't really been in there lately. But when it is finished, it will have another one of these carpets to tie in um, the whole room together. Bebo. <gasps> Hi, honey. Couch. What are you doing? He's so cute. So this is Groovy, my robot vacuum that I purchased on Amazon. It's a cheaper version of the same type of vacuums that are out on the market. It's spelled G-O-O-V-I. It cost, I think it was 153 ish on amazon <laughs> other way buddy um it works very well i rarely have to um, vacuum my floors one day i'll put it in this area and the next day i'll put it in the carpeted area make sure it's always clean but it does a great job and it was a super awesome buy what's super cool about this vacuum is that when it starts to die, it recognizes it and it makes its way back to the charger by itself. Just had to throw that in there. So I did an online coffee order at my favorite coffee shop where I live. Picked up one for now and one for later. <laughs> um, grabbed a few things that I needed, household items, a few groceries, my truck because it is filthy covered in tree pollen because it's just that time of the year <laughs> you know what are you gonna do in a car wash in a car wash in a car wash so while i'm in the car wash i just wanted to uh share this little tidbit so this is my favorite item honestly that I probably ever purchased on Amazon. I know that sounds really silly, but my favorite little gadget. Oh, this is a loud car wash. So this is what I use to put my phone in for, you know, maps and navigation and whatnot. And this part adjusts 
in case you have a big or small phone. And then of course this little sensor, when you put your phone against it, it automatically locks these little um, arms into place so it's holding your phone appropriately. And I can't say enough good things about this. The sticky part down here is legit the stickiest little thing you'll ever feel. Um, it locks on with these little snaps in the back. So if I wanted to pop it off, I just lift it up and snap it. But it's a sticky suction cup. So it sticks. It doesn't go anywhere. It's it's on there. But I, honestly, I just checked on them the other day, and I paid forty five dollars for this thing, which I thought was kind of expensive at the time. And then I just checked on them again, and now they're selling them for like twenty five bucks. So if you guys are interested, twenty five bucks. You can do. It. I usually keep it sideways, but you can have it upwards too. But it's called what does that say? Iodi. Whatever. I'll have the link um, on the video for you so you can see it. But yes, also an Amazon purchase. Super love it. I think you guys would too if you need something like this in your vehicle. You would seriously love it. Alright, I'm almost headed out of the car wash. And I'll get back in a second. So I just got home from my little coffee run slash washing my truck. <laughs> Um, it was the highlight of my day. Uh, she be looking real shiny and pretty and gorgeous. But it's only a matter of time before these god-awful trees above me start throwing some more pollen down on her, though. But for the time being, she looks gorgeous. She's got to put some tire shine on. And boom. My dark Sith, which is what I call her, uh, Silverado is a looking ship shape, at least for today. <laughs> so my favorite jewelry piece that I've ever purchased on Amazon is this dainty little sterling silver cross. This thing was $10 on Amazon. It was the most petite one I could find and I really wanted a petite one. As you can see, I've been wearing this consistently for months now. I don't even take it off when I shower because I love it so much. I haven't taken it off since I've gotten it. Um, it has zero wear on it. It's not fading. The metal is not fading at all. It has not turned any part of my body green. It is very good quality. The clasp itself is very heavy duty, beautiful quality. And like I said, it was only $10. I bought ones for my daughters as well so we could all have matching ones and I just love this necklace. They also sell different types of crosses and other pendants like hearts um, and the infinity sign as well with these guys and all of their necklaces if I remember right are in fact also $10. So fun find, um, something I've been enjoying daily for months now and hopefully um, many months and possibly years to come. And this is a ring light with a stand that adjusts. It's eight inches by eight inches. And it also has this automatic phone mount on it in case you want to film, which actually this is primarily what I use to make my videos. I haven't invested in a super nice camera per se, so I've been using this with my phone. It also comes with this Bluetooth little remote to take pictures or start filming from afar without having to touch your phone. And the ring light is super bright. I can plug it in for you, but I don't even think you'd be able to tell how bright it is, but it does have different um, levels of brightness and it has a bright white light as well as a bright yellow light, depending on what type of light is needed from wherever you're filming. But I love it. Um, I want to say when I purchased this, it was like one of the last ones before they restocked. So I got it for like 25 bucks, but I just looked them up for you guys. And it says they're now $55, which I think is kind of a lot for only an eight inch ring light, but that's just my opinion. But I will say it definitely works really well. So this bright and beautiful canvas print was also from Amazon. Let's move these pictures so you can see. Um, it has all these different Stormtrooper helmets in different colors that kind of tie in all my colorful style. They did not come with these super cool uh, helmet stickers. Uh, I just thought it was kind of crazy that they actually matched um, with some of the helmets in this 
canvas portrait, which I thought was really beautiful. So this one's kind of random, but this is like a giant sticker that I have mounted above my bed that says Star Wars. And it's like super feminine. It has a lot of like floral patterns and stuff in it that also help tie in my bedroom. And if I remember right, this was super cheap. It was like 12 or 13 bucks or something, but um, it's been something that I've really liked in here. It kind of ties in the feminine um, and also my love for, for Star Wars. So I also have another carpet in my bedroom that ties in a lot of the colors I have in here. Oh, there's a penny on the floor. I see it. Um, this is also um, five foot by eight foot and it was $109. Another thing in my house I super love. Pretty much all of my, uh, my, my little colorful carpets that I have around my house are from Amazon. So... <laughs> And I think they're all actually from Nulum. I think it's N-U-L-O-O-M is how they spell it. But they have an array of beautiful um, throw rug carpets that are just awesome and completely unique. So yes, super love this as well. Okay, so also real quick, <laughs> sorry if you see any mess in the background of my... Uh master bath it's kind of cluttered currently but I just wanted to go over these super cool makeup organizers that I got this one was $38 it comes with this whole section this middle section and this bottom section you can organize these in whichever way you want they're all three separate pieces they actually came with this topper um, which holds lipsticks and all kinds of other things so I guess you could technically stack it on top of that I kind of like them separately Again, it was 38 bucks for this piece with the lipstick and other holder topper. Um, this is what I use to hold my brushes. It's like a three section, also clear fiberglass. I think this was $9. And then this one holds like smaller palettes. Um, and this one was 16, which I super love. I found this this big one not on Amazon, but I actually think they do have one similar to this on Amazon for about 35 bucks as well. I think I got this one at like Ross or TJ Maxx or something, but I did notice that Amazon does sell them, but that is not where I got this one. These high-waisted soft like microfiber feeling skirts are my favorite thing I have purchased clothing wise on Amazon. Beautiful on me. I love them. I can't wait to bust them out. These buttons are fake so it doesn't actually open up or have you know any spacage when you're wearing it. You don't have to worry about these opening at all. It's very soft on the inside. The material is amazing. The stitching is very heavy duty. No way this is falling apart anytime soon with washes or dries. Um, I got them in both colors, this golden color and black, which this is totally outside the box for me, but I'm really excited to incorporate this with some cute white sandals and maybe a tucked in um, tighter white shirt. They both come with the bands. They're not looped in the little belt holes currently, but um, when you wear them, obviously you'll want to put them through there. And if you want to tie them in a bow, you can tie them in a bow in the front, or you can just tie them in a knot and let them hang. They look beautiful either way. Looks really pretty when it goes above your waistline. It looks, it, it just slims you down. It looks really pretty, but it's not super ridiculously tight. And again, these are so, so comfortable, so, so soft. They were $19 a piece, and I cannot wait to wear them. It's just a solid black bodycon, um, like thick t-shirt material, long dress, super long, um, and it has a big slit on this side that kind of goes up to um, below your hips. And it's super pretty on. I love it a lot. It has stitching on this side that kind of like helps it curve to your bodies on the sides and this part is really tight so like sometimes with what I wear um I like things to be a little bit looser in the belly area <laughs> because it's not super flattering um when you got little muffins <laughs> so this actually slims you down in a way that looks really good it hides all your problem areas if you have them 
Um, if you don't, good for you. It will still look awesome on you, but the sleeves, like you can just tell the quality is really thick. It's really soft. Look really beautiful with sandals, probably for the summer, just to have a really cute look. This was $32 and I have worn it once, but it, it was like on a 75 degree weather day and I really, really enjoy it. I think this is probably going to be one of my go-to when I want to look really nice, but I don't want to put in a ton of effort type of summer dress. So this is an adult onesie <laughs> in an American flag pattern, which is awesome. Sorry, I've closed all over the floor. But it zips all the way down. It, it could actually zip up your whole face if you wanted to because the whole hood is a zipper. <laughs> I got mine in a medium uh, uni suit. But I have worn this quite a bit. It's so comfortable. It's all fleece on the inside. So it's super warm, super comfy. I love the pattern. Super patriotic, obviously. And the zippers are pretty, pretty great quality. They're like that thick plastic with big old uni suit logo zippers. Pockets are real, real deep. Super comfy. It's like wearing a giant hoodie throughout your whole body. And it's amazing. I paid $60 for this on Amazon. And I have worn this out in public. And it was awesome. Uh, not ashamed. I've worn it for Halloween when I was just dressed myself up. Super patriotic. I've also worn it to work when I didn't feel in putting, like, putting on real clothes before I got to work. and put my uniform on and I just felt like being comfortable on my way to work. So I've worn it to work as well. I don't care. I wear it for pajamas. I wear it when I'm cold. I wear it all the time. It's awesome. $60, Amazon, Unisuit, America. So this is my new favorite faux leather purse with crossbody strap. It's got this beautiful chain braided in um, on the sides. Got the nice little metal studs on the bottom to protect the bottom leather of the purse when you're setting it on things. And of course, the beautiful silver studded detail um, on the front. And the braided handles are super pretty as well. These are pockets on either side that are deep and go all the way around to the other side of the purse. There's a nice, decent size um, pocket on the back as well. And it's got a ton of space in here. I emptied it out. Got some change in there that you can see. But this nice little flat pocket right here. Still got my chapstick in there. Um, and then another zipper pocket on that side but very spacious, really nice. It does zip up if you want to close it. But yeah, this is my new favorite purchase purse. It's uh, when I want to carry more things than just my smaller purse, I carry this one. This was $40 on Amazon, Chanel and Birkin and Coach and whatever else is out there. There's too many to list. Um, those are just not for me. I just, I can't spend that kind of money on a purse. This was 40 and even that was like, oh, do I really want to spend 40 on this? Yeah, I'll do it. But that's about as high as I'm going um, because I don't, I'm not really into a lot of name brand stuff. I really like finding bargains. My style is a little more funky. I like this type of style, which is kind of harder to find in really expensive name brand purses. Um, but I also purchase most of my purses um, based on if they're going to safely fit my handguns. Um, like I said, I am a law enforcement officer, so I have a duty weapon that I carry when I'm going to and from work. And then on my off days, I do have two of my own personal weapon. No matter what I'm carrying, whatever weapon I have on me that day fits safely in here within its, within its Kydex holster. It'll go, I usually put them in this safe little pocket so they don't move around and they're easy for me to grab in case of an emergency. God forbid I have to use it for some reason. So yeah, I usually purchase my purses based on if they fit my gun safely and, uh, will also fit all the rest of my favorite things. So this is one of my new favorite purchases. Like I said, faux leather coming over here. This is my favorite water bottle. It's Takia. It's a 32 ounce, very heavy duty metal. I bought it in white. I liked the color. 
the lid has this little, uh, I don't know, just like a carrying handle, which I think is cool. You can take the whole lid off if you want to drink out of the large mouth, but it also has this option if you want to drink out of this, this smaller um, lid portion. And I'm pretty sure you can get these, this brand specifically at Target. I've seen them there, um, but I found this one on Amazon. It was $25, which if you want something comparable to a Yeti that's half the price, take yeah is the way to go. Either at Target or like I found mine in 32 ounce on Amazon and it was definitely worth the purchase. I use this every day, constantly filling it up with ice water. I do have ice in it. It tends to stay frozen and the ice stays in there for up to two days, um, sometimes more, depending on where I have it. So yeah, both of these items, some of my favorites. This is new. I bought it for myself. Um, I had a regular Bible, really wanted a woman's study Bible. So this is the box that it came in. It's beautiful and geared towards women. It is a faux leather material. It is nice and soft. It has this beautiful floral design on the side. It also has these really pretty ribbons so that you can um, mark your spot. And the side pages are marked for you. This is Old Testament and New Testament study Bible. So it has everything. And it has these beautiful... Oh, it's upside down. Of course it is. <laughs> it has these beautiful imagery um, on the inside all throughout. A lot of colors are incorporated into it. Um, notes all along the way that have to do with the scripture, but are, are separate and breaking it down for you which I think it's beautiful, and they are. All the chapters of the Bible are marked for you. Um, the black ones are obviously the Old Testament, and the red ones incorporate Jesus's existence, and they are red. The only thing I will say that I wish this Bible had that it does not is when Jesus is speaking, it is not highlighted in red. The other Bibles that I've had in the past, that his words were more pronounced than you could read them more clearly and understand when he was talking um, right off the bat because they would be highlighted in red. This Bible does not have that. So that's the only critique I have. Otherwise, this Bible is beautiful. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I've been reading through it quite a bit, learning a lot, taking notes as well. There's certain areas inside of it where you can also take notes about certain things if you were interested in doing so. The pages, like any Bible, are super thin, but I don't know too many Bibles that so don't have pretty thin pages. But So I paid $60 for this on Amazon. I really love it. It is the best faux leather soft cover one I found on Amazon, and I searched for hours. And this, uh, oh, I always kept scrolling back to this one, no matter what other ones I was looking at. So this cute little guy protects my AirPods. <laughs> it's Darth Vader and he's adorable and the lid just pops up and it protects my AirPods. Super cute, found him on Amazon and it comes with this little rubber piece with the dark side symbol. I added this clip to it in case I wanted to clip it to my purse or something, but I take these everywhere and my little Darth Vader helmet protects my AirPods very well. This was um, $10 on Amazon. They also have other options. One of my twin daughters has one, the same type of um, heavy duty plastic. Hers looks like a small, uh, tiny flip phone, which is super cute. And then my other twin daughter has one that looks like a mini version of a Nintendo Switch, which is also really cute. So they have a lot of cute options on there, but this one is mine and he just suits me. Okay guys, well that's everything. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and maybe you even found some things that I've purchased that maybe you're interested in and want to get yourself as well. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoy hanging out with me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click that little bell in the corner so you can get notified of further uploads. And of course, as always, may the force be with you. Bye!